Hi everyone, welcome to another PSC video. Today we are going to solve a problem named Let's buy some houses. Okay. So let's see some description about this problem. Okay. So the problem is saying you just won a lottery and you want to spend some money. So you want to buy some houses. Okay. So there is just a one condition. To buy two houses, you need to buy the road connecting those two houses. Okay. Now you are given a list of roads bought by you. So in the input, we are going to be provided with this list of roads. Okay. You need to tell how many houses you will end up buying. So in the question, if in the input, we are going to be provided with the list of houses that we have bought, okay, then we have to tell, I mean, in the output, we need to give the number of houses that we have and that we have ended up buying, okay. So first thing first, let's first add the given, okay. What is given? And let's add the image to it. Okay. Yeah, one lot three. You are a newly rich guy. Okay. Want to buy houses. Okay. Too many houses. Why? Because you are rich. Okay, only one condition. And what that condition is? If I am buying two houses, then I would have to to buy the road connecting them, them also, to buy the road connecting them, to, okay. Let's visualize it. Okay. Let's say, we have some houses, okay. In the question, it is saying, like, uh, let's say, this is house number A, a house A, this is house B, okay. And if there is a road connecting these houses, and if we mark it, mark the road as X1, okay. And then, if we are to buy, Houses A and B, then by road X one. Oh, let me put it more clearly. Then by road X one two. Okay. So this is the condition, okay. Now moving to our input. What it is given in the question. Let's read it first. First line contains an integer t. Here t is, uh, is number of test cases, denoting the number of test cases, okay. The first line of each test case contains an integer e, denoting the number of roads. 
चलिए ओके द नेक्स्ट ई लाइन कंटेन्स टू सेपरेटेड इंटीजियर्स एक्स एंड वाई द नोटिंग दैट देर इज ए रोड बिटवीन हाउसेस एक्स एंड हाउस वाई ओके सो इट इज नथिंग बट यू हैव प्रोवाइडेड विद टोटल नंबर ऑफ रोड इन ईच टेस्ट केस एंड आफ्टर दैट यू बी प्रोवाइडेड विद लाइक इफ देर आर एट ई नंबर ऑफ रोड ओके E number of roads, then you are provided with E number of x y pairs. X y is nothing but uh, the house names in which that road is lying. Okay. Like There are two houses. Okay, this is X house. This is a Y house. Okay, so this road will be noted by road will be termed as X Y pair. Okay, that's what they are. Showing in the question, okay. So now, by just looking at these houses, uh, you must be thinking or visualizing it with the, some of the concept in data structure and algorithm, correct? That you have already gone through. What does it look like? Okay. To show that. Let me first write the input. Okay, okay. Let's uh, say we are going to go with one of the test case. There's only one, though. No, but okay, so e is three here. E is equals to three, and for the x y, we have three x y pairs. So one, two, two, three, and one three. Okay, so I will write here one, two, two, three, one, and three. Okay. So, if we were to draw this, how would we represent this? Let's say this is house number one. This is house number two. Because they have said in the question by providing the x y pair, this is one two road, okay. And uh, we have two three also. Okay, so This is three, okay. So we have a road to with the, I mean, in between the houses two and three also. So we will write two three road number, and we have a road of one two three also. One three. Okay. So now, the question is asking that they have provided us with this information. Okay, the total number of roads. Number of roads, and what is this? This is pair road connecting the pair of houses. Correct. Roads connecting the pair of houses. Okay. Question is asking if the, this is the input. Input. Then tell me how many houses do I have bought?
okay let's uh, go with the first worst approach okay that one can think because let's say approach number one okay because they're saying the zodes are nothing but uh, the pair of houses okay i mean the way they are represented so if uh, there is uh, one zode then there must be two houses if there is two zode then there must be four houses if there is three zode then there must be six houses Good. that can be an approach because uh, a zode connects two houses therefore three zodes therefore three zodes connects three into two six houses okay Three road connects six houses. Yeah, how is that? Let me show an example. Let's say this is one A house number A. This is house number B. Uh, let me put the house numbers as numbers only. Okay. This is house number one. This is two. This is five. This is six. This is eight. And this is nine. Okay. As what is connecting this, these two houses. Okay. Then you will be thinking, what about uh, the road that is connecting this? Let's not worry about that. They are, they can be other some other houses, but uh, we are saying that we. Have just bought these roads on, yeah. This road, this road, and this road. So we have bought three roads. Number of roads equals to three years, okay. And number of houses three into two is equal to six, which is correct for here, right? But if I were to tell you. If I were to tell you that this is not going to be correct for always, okay? Like, I mean, why this just a math, uh, just a form, uh, mathematical formula about? Uh, I mean, a road connects the two houses, so n number of roads connect, n multiplied by two houses, okay, or two n houses. That will be correct, but not for always. Let me show you the difference when it will be correct and when it will not be. Okay. Let's say this is one, this is two, this is four. Okay. Just don't go with the number. I mean the identification of the house. Okay, here number of zodes is equal to three, and number of houses is equal to three also. So, what is the main difference in both uh, in these two arrangements? What is the main difference? So we can say that. 
the main difference is uh, i mean uh, first uh, just to uh, get to the reason why this formula fails this formula fails because if you were to write there are six houses actually okay one two two four okay and one four if we just count the houses there are six houses but are those six different or unique houses the answer for that is no two is for this road i mean here for this road one two two is here and for this road two four two is repeating yes or no correct and then for this road two four is there house number okay and for this road one four is here the four is repeating here okay so individually if we count in each pair there are six houses but because the, the uh, these houses i mean uh, some houses are at the end of multiple roads correct like uh, mm, here house number two is at the end of this road and this road also house number four is at the end of this road and this road also that's why that formula failed so what is the keyword here to correct this the keyword here is we just don't need to count the total number of houses but we need to count the unique number of houses because the house numbers or the identification of houses are already provided in the road information okay because roads are nothing but given as the pair of houses and one more thing is that see so our episode 2 will become here we will follow to count the unique number of houses one more thing is that uh, uh, how to count the, the unique number of houses okay so if i draw the house arrangement as this okay this is house number 1 This is house number two, and this is house number three. Okay. If I have drawn this arrangement, houses road. So in terms of uh, intersection algorithm, what other thing we can represent it to? This is equivalent to. Isn't it equivalent to an arrangement uh, in a graph? Yes or no? If we assume, if we represent, let's say represent houses as node of a graph, node of a graph. Okay, and roads. as edges of the graph yes or no graph have two basic components the no, the node and the edges okay so we can represent it in this way we we'll change the color node number 1 node number 2 and node number 3 these are the houses and the edges are like the roads Which are joining them? House number one is connected with house number two by a road. House number two is connected with house number three by a road. House number one is connected to house number three by a road also. Okay. So these are our edges now. The roads are edges, and the houses are nodes. Okay. Now that we have represented this whole arrangement of houses and the roads in terms of graph, okay. now that we have this arrangement 1 2 and 3 okay so we know how to take the input of a graph but uh, uh, even though uh, the traditional way i mean the way we take input for the graph there are only two ways now uh, the first is the adjacency 
matrix and there is a essential list but here now if i were to tell you you don't need to you don't even need to store this graph information using any of these okay we are not going to use this now question is why because it's not required yeah why would do we do something which is not required though we are replicating it to a graph but uh, when do we say that you need to store it as a graph also i mean we should know what to apply to find a solution okay not just that uh, storing unnecessary data or doing unnecessary things okay so what we can do if we take uh, i mean uh, what is our main objective here now our main objective here is out of these roads slash edge information which is given in the form of which is given in the form of node pairs okay node or house pairs we need to find not just find to store the unique nodes and return the count of them that's all now let me put another question now think about it what data structure you can use okay to store unique, unique items what data structure can be used to store unique items answer is i mean you can think of any other ways also but uh, the main thing that comes to mind is an arrangement of set yes or no and set there is no redundancy how about uh, how about times you you put an item which is already there in the set it doesn't insert it in the uh, set okay it will just check it for once only i mean let's go with the input okay t is equals to 1 is here e is equals to 3 and for x y pairs it is given 1 2 2 3 and 1 3 okay so let's say when we were reading this input na set items we were using set okay so what are the set items at that point at that point the set items are 1 comma 2 okay here though we were uh, providing the input 2 uh, 2 3 but it will take only 3 because 2 was already there okay here we are providing 1 3 again but nothing will change because it already have 1 and 3 also so now here at the end of edge or uh, slash road reading 
okay or taking the input okay when the loop terminates i mean the uh, the input taking loop terminates we simply return size of set that's all which is three here that's the answer yes or no simple similarly from the previous question if i were uh, what to say uh, i mean let's put p is equals to one okay p is equals to three only but the x y pairs will become what was that example one two five six eight nine okay Become one, two, five, six, eight, and nine. Okay. Set items. What will they become? For this, they will become one comma two. For this, they will become one comma two comma five comma six. For this, they will become one comma two comma five comma six comma eight comma nine. So then is it turn size of set, which is six here? That's the answer. Yes or no? So now for the pseudo code, we can write that. What you can write? While t minus minus, okay. Then create an empty set. One step. And this step will be for i equals to zero, i less than e, i plus plus. And what we'll do here? Okay, x and y was there, no? Insert x in set. Insert y in set. That's all we need to do. In a for loop, and at the end, return size of the set. That's all. Okay. So now, what will be your time complexity? Time complexity will become because uh, we are taking e number of roads. Oh, I can say small okay. e number of roads and and put okay. So this a fourth loop is also running for e number of times. Okay. And if the set operation, uh, usually an unordered set to the set operation, I mean insertion is of order one only. Okay. And so if it takes a one, that's a constant time, then the time complexity will become order of e only. Okay. And space complexity, we are taking, creating a set now, size of set. That's the space complexity. 
because the number of houses are not given total number of houses are not given in the question so whatever the number of, uh, of houses comes in the answer okay that's the space complexity for this question if we are uh, doing it with set okay so that's why i have written space complexity as size of set okay that's the only extra space we are taking okay so i hope you understood this question so i will end this uh, psc session here thank you everyone meet you in next session